Okay, so I give everyone um, a sheet of watercolor paper. This is different than regular paper. You can feel it's a little heavier. If you painted watercolor directly into your sketchbook, the page will really, really buckle and fold. So the nicer watercolor paper you have, the better you know your painting will look. Normally, if we were doing a whole painting, um, we would tape this paper down, which would help prevent that bubbling of the paper. But right now we're just gonna do some practice. So um, with the watercolor, uh, you're gonna wet, wet your brush down first. And you can pick up any color right now. And I just want you to paint just a few lines or splotches around here. So watercolor is much different than say like an acrylic paint. Um, colors blend together very easily. So I could pick up another color and the colors flow together. So the more water you use, the more transparent the paint will look. So if I, you know, rinse out my brush, I took some paper towel just to dot it, and you squeeze the water out from your brush, and then I take some more paint, I'm gonna have a lot darker line. I can get more crisp lines that way as well. Or I can go back and say, oh, I don't like that line, and add paintbrush and water to it. Another thing when you're doing watercolor is it will look a little bit lighter when it dries. And also you can add, <clears throat> excuse me, things like drops of water. So if I just take a clean paintbrush and just touch my paper, eventually that's gonna spread out and it'll kind of like look like little cloud bursts. So we're doing this practice because you're gonna be painting your sky for your haunted house. So if I had some black paint here, rinsed out my brush, and then I start dropping in some of this water, you'll get some really neat looking swirls and lines, kind of like that. So for today, this is just for you to practice. Now this is, this, you know, it's kind of small here, but this is you know, what my final sky looked like. So to create this up here, I had some really dark values of black down here, and then I just kept adding and dropping in more water, and you can kind of create almost like a glowing effect. You can also build up darker values. So this paint is dry right now, but if I, I can definitely go back into here and say, you know, I like it, but I really want it to be a little bit more spooky. I could go in here very carefully and paint on some more black to darken up that sky. You can see that there. Okay. So as for this example, just do another one together here. When you're ready to paint your sky, if you're ready to do that today, great. Otherwise, you um, this is due tomorrow. Make sure you draw in your horizon line here. Um, obviously not through the building, because when you're doing the sky, you're only gonna paint from the top of your page to the horizon line, and that's where the sky meets the ground. So you're not painting anything else in watercolor, only the sky. So usually, anytime you're working, it's best to work light to dark. So um, since this is supposed to be spooky, haunted, I'm gonna start with some black, and I just have to go very carefully when I get up to the edge of my lines. And you don't have to do this on your final one right now. You can just play. Whoops, you can just play around with it. And sometimes you just have to wait and see what the paint will look like after you put water drops and things in here. So if I just drop in some water, and I can also the nice thing with watercolors, you can kind of fix some mistakes if you really go over it again. You can kind of clean up some lines. Now, you can do just black, but what else could be spooky? You know, I could take, after I have some black down, I could put some purple into here and kind of blend that out. 
That might be interesting. Um, I know some people had um, a moon in their composition. So one thing you could do to create a moon, you could you could leave it, try to leave it white and just bring up some very light color from the sky around it. Or you could let all of your stuff dry and then go back into it once it's dry because it'll be less likely um, to spread. So anything around here, you'd just be going over like in between this tree around the house and then you just stop at that line. 